Hey, it's Coolio if you don't know, and um, welcome to a different thing. Um, this is actually being streamed as well as recorded at the same time. So um, let's hope nothing explodes, I guess. Uh, so yeah, let's get things started. This is, uh, this is a game that um, I have played recently. It's currently in early access, so we don't get everything this game has to offer. And right now we're not getting anything this game has to offer. There we go. There it is. Yeah, I know YouTube records itself, but... Um, I'm not I'm not streaming at the same um, sort of quality that I am able to record at. Um, and also by recording it myself, I take out all the probably copyrighted music at the beginning. Anyway, this is Toho Luna Nights. Um, it is a Metroidvania featuring uh, Sakuya, who is um, the handmaiden of the Scarlet Devil Romilia. As you can see, I've already played a fair amount of it. In fact, I've played everything that this game has to offer so far. It only has the first three stages, and I believe there are going to be five of them. But um, let's start a new game. <laughs> the time has finally come. Now, my world will begin. Are you ready? Sakuya? Yes, I used the word Jason hates. Why not? <sighs> Where? Where am I? Sakuya? Can you hear me, Sakuya? This is my space. This is Lady Romelia's voice. What do you mean by space? This is a magic space I made based on Gensokyo. It's exactly the same as the real thing. But even the weather is the same. Pachi didn't have to go that far. This isn't Gensokyo? That's right. Overcome the various tests I've prepared and make your way to where I wait. This is another elaborate game you've created, La Lady Romilia. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Oh yes, I've put a limit on your powers as well. A limit? You mean my power to stop time? Of course. A new game isn't fun if you're already powerful. You shouldn't be able to use your powers very well now. Okay. That's all, Sakuya. Entertain me. <sighs> it looks like this won't be a straightforward game. Alright, so let's get this thing started. We got a couple of um, signs here that tell us how to play. It's really pretty obvious how to play. Attack with the attack button, jump with the jump button. Who would have thought? Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that um, even your basic attack does consume MP, as you can see there in the top right. Um, you can also pick up your um, knives again, which is kind of an interesting touch, but does actually restore your MP, so something important to remember. Also, although we're not able to stop time right now, we are able to slow it down. What was that? I think I've seen that shape somewhere. Yes, indeed, and boy, we will see it again soon enough. Ah! Oh! There 
area. Yes, um, blue grays is kind of an interesting uh, concept too. Uh, grays is a uh, concept that is in most of the Toho games and um, basically in this game if you stand close enough to an enemy like that without getting hit by it uh, you're able to recover things like HP and MP. Reminds you of Bunny Must Die. Well, I guess you're not that far off. Um, you are Hieda no Akiu, right? Oh, hello. Hello. I mean, what are you doing in a place like this? There's no particular reason. I'm tired, so I'm resting. Oh. Something feels off. She must be an imposter, Lady Romilia's space created. It must be fate we met here. If you'd like, shall I make a record? All right, your specialty is keeping records. I don't know what will happen, so can you do me the favor? I understand. Then please make a phone call from that telephone booth. Telephone booth? The green box over there. Please try it. <laughs> Busty Bunny is best bunny. Hello. Huh? I hear Aku's voice from this box. Don't worry about the details. If you make a phone call like this, you can make a record. Please use it often. Okay, sure. Thank you. I'll use this again. But yes, we, um, we are able to save by making phone calls, and telephones are not exactly something that exists in Gensokyo. <laughs> People here tend to prefer the, per the personal touch of going to someone's house and shooting lots of bullets at them. <laughs> so right now we don't have any way of getting there, so we'll have to come back for that if I can remember to do so. I don't think I remember to do so in my first playthrough. Hey, it's that thing again. Phew. The flight test was a success. You are Nitori, right? What is that vehicle? This? It's a robot that I made. Huh? Anyways, human. What are you doing here? This Nitori seems to be an imposter too. But there must be a reason she exists. Let's try talking to her. I have my reasons, and what about you? I guess you could say I'm flight testing this while doing some business. Business? Yep, business. For instance, what do you think about this watch? A watch? Uh, sorry, but I already have a favorite watch. I don't need another one. You should take it. You can't use your power right now, right? How... How do you know? If you use this, you can control your power to stop time. It has some strong magic. You should be able to use your power again with this. Control my power. For the time being, I'll let you have it free as a sign of our acquaintance. I have a feeling only you can use this. Hmm, I guess I'll take it if it's free. Press the stop time button to stop time. Stop time button. Okay, I got it. Item get! Uh, she's not a tanuki, she's a kappa. You can stop time whenever you want. Not forever, but we uh, do have the ability now. Press the stop time button and... This! It can control my power to manipulate time. To the manipulate time. This is still early access, keep in mind. It's not to the full extent, but there's nothing I can do. It's annoying to depend on a tool, but I guess I'll have to use this for now. So yes, staying in place, um, 
the timer will go down slower. Moving around, it'll go down a little faster. If you're attacking, it'll go down faster still. And you can only throw so many knives while time is stopped. In the map, you can uh, press the pause button to look at that at any point. Wow, so delicious! Now my HP and MP have fully recovered. That seems like a very meta thing to say, Sakuya, but okay. And just the little touches like that. She grabs a can, chugs it down, and then just kind of throws it to the ground. It's actually kind of cool. Level up. Hmm. Can we get through that? Well, that seems problematic, right? Unless we stop time, I mean. You can also use snail time to get through that. I just wanted to use that example, I suppose. Oh, there are Tanuki, yeah, Tanuki enemies. Yes, there are definitely Tanuki enemies. Oh. Now what is this? Looks like an MP upgrade. It is indeed. So right now we're not able to open doors. Um, we need key items to do that. Unfortunately, there's no indication right now uh, on which key items you have, so... But it's pretty straightforward. A bathtub here? If I stop time in water, the water solidifies and I won't be able to move. I should be careful. Unfortunately, Tanukis are not real, so... You know, sorry to burst your bubble, but that's... Kind of the case. Red pandas, however, are real. At least I'm pretty sure there are. And by I'm pretty sure there are, I mean yes. And yeah, that's just telling us that we can only attack so many times while time is stopped. Door. Ah. I need to be careful with my MP, actually. I'm uh, running very low on that. Is this your warp gate? Um, pretty standard thing, obviously. Right now we don't have any other gates to warp to, so... We'll just move on. There we go. We have MP again. And throw knives with impunity for now. Now this is a bit of a puzzle actually, because if you just stop time right now, you can't pass through this waterfall. You need to go over here and freeze time here. So you can get through this gate with snail time. And I stood a little too close to that guy. So how's the uh, stream quality, Scarlet? Everything good?
Hmm. Well, that's problematic. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Where am I going? It's over here. Ah. Dang it. Well, that didn't work out so well. Like that's just an alternate path anyway. Ooh, what's that? Um, yeah, I think stopping time actually will be better. You got a sliding knife! Alright, so now we are able to slide. Remember that you cannot move if you are in the water and time is stopped, so... Order of operations is always a good thing. A lot of interesting puzzles like that in this game. Watching on your PS3. Nice. Yeah, the uh, sliding knife, of course, can be used as a weapon. I wouldn't recommend it. Ah, well, that's a problem. I didn't stop time here. Uh, you do get Graze bonus uh, while time is stopped, but uh, it only restores, I think... I'm not sure if it restores your... Oh, I'm almost dead. Not sure if it restores your MP. Okay, I still can't get that. But um, it's more for restoring... And I'm dead. It's more for restoring your um, uh, time, actually. When are you going to Irish dance on an enemy's head? Oh geez, I hadn't saved, like, at all throughout that. Fantastic. Okay, I guess we're doing this all again. Save point near here, though. We're about where we were before. I don't think I went up here last time. Oh. Well. There we go. We've saved now. You won't have to basically replay the entire game up to this point again. Hi. There is a bit of a hover, too, if you uh, hold down the jump button. So we have to use the um, snail time, otherwise we can't go through the water. And I'm not doing so well. Let's graze a little bit, gain some HP. I think... oh. Recovery here. I haven't been here. Oh, that was the warp gate. Still good to tag the warp gate because if we don't do that, we can't use it later on. Let's 
see. Well, this room isn't ominous at all. Hello? Huh? Is this Nitori? Why did you pick up? What are you talking about? I'm the one who installed that phone. You... you are? Is the clock working? Yes, it's very useful. I'm glad to hear that. By the way, the story is, re is ready, so come by when you have some time. What? I said I have some things that might be helpful, so come shop at my store. Uh, I gave you that clock, right? I don't have any money, though. You have jewels. I'll buy them from you. Jewels? Oh, the ones I picked up on the road. Those are precious resources. They have a lot of value. Hmm, then I'll stop by soon. Uh, temperature right now is um, 0 degrees Celsius, so 32 Fahrenheit. So Notori has a store. Um, I suppose we can uh, take a little detour here. There's got to be a little more of a detour than that. Whoops. I fell into the water there before I stopped time. There we go. Ah! Yeah. It's not so much the fact that um, I'm farther north, it's more the fact that I'm not in the polar vortex. Pretty much the um, both the west and east coast have it a little easy this summer. I was supposed to get up to seven inches. Oh, half a foot, huh? That's fair amount, but not a whole lot, I think. Is there three feet in a yard? A yard is close to a meter. So it's about 15 centimeters of snow. 15, 20. Yeah, that's not much. Just see how much how much uh, Canada gets sometimes. Anyway, we got a stun knife. Um, throw a stun knife with an electric shock. I actually didn't get this the first time I ran this game. So yes, there are spells that we can get. Use a spell with the spell button. And you level up. Well, not necessarily every time, but you know. I don't know why I couldn't just talk to her directly there, because I was right next to her, but... Anyway. Welcome! I have a lot of items here. If you're not going to shop, can you return the watch? Okay, okay. Jeez, talk about quid pro quo, right? Anyway, um... We have our various different types of uh, jewels here. Now the only thing is, these jewels, as you can see, Graze Effect Plus, Aquamarine, MP Recovery Rate Plus, all of these increase our abilities. And I didn't catch on, catch on to this the first time until the game just outright told me that this is the case. So going sell all here is not necessarily what you want to do. 
Um, I'm gonna leave myself with 200 of these. That's about right. Um, oh, I selected cancel. 190, that's fine. The shop system in this game is a little strange. There we go. And I will buy a shop card. Or a shop ticket. This is kind of OP, actually. Um, you're able to use the shop card to summon Nitori wherever you are. The thing is, you can use it in the middle of a boss battle. So if you like urgently need more health or something, you can summon Nitori in the middle of a boss battle and she will give you um, recovery items. And there's no like surcharge for using the shop ticket. It's kind of weird and awesome. No! Oh! There we go. Oh, you got a snowblower, huh? Well equipped, I see. Now then. So this pretty much we're just going back to where we were before we we uh, spoke to Natori. And yes, we are required to have the um, sliding knife to get through here. Because of course, for being a Metroidvania, this game is kind of like oddly linear. Ooh, secret. Hmm. Secret, but can we get to it right now? Yes. What's this item get? Auto aim. You got a auto aim. Or a knife that automatically aims for the enemy. And there are buttons to switch between items and weapons. It is a little annoying that items and weapons are in the same menu, basically. So you might end up using an item instead of um, instead of a weapon in the middle of a fight. Which might not end up in your favor. Oh, what is that? It's a red key. This seems like a useful thing to have. You can now open the glowing door. I suppose if I had just kept going, I could have just gotten that red key. I wasn't sure if... Uh, the right key was close or not, though, so... Uh, yeah, this game is in Early Access. Um, the Early Access, for some reason, it says that only the first stage is available, but right now three stages are available. Hello! How are you? Nitori, what is it this time? I forgot to tell you this, but I installed the vending machine. Did you notice? A vending machine? I improved a machine that fell through from a parallel universe. You can drink some delicious juice. It's perfect for recovering strength and magic. Try it if you want. Oh, don't forget to throw out empty cans. Oh, that box where the drink came out. I've already tried it. That's good. I think the boss fight is soon, but if you want a shop, coming in any time. Boss, 
boss fight. Bye bye. And she pretty much straight up tells us that um, we're about to fight a boss. Hey Mailing, how's it going? Stop there! I won't let you take one step further. What are you doing, Mailing? I'm very sorry. These are orders by Lady Romilia. I see, so you are real. If you want to pass, you must defeat me first. I usually wouldn't have any problems with you, but this might be a slightly difficult fight with my current situation. Lady Romilia said there is no need to go easy on you. Prepare yourself! That, of course, is unnecessary. Come at me! So pretty much the deal with mailing is that we actually cannot attack her up front. We need to attack her while she's um, preoccupied with something else, such as attacking at us. This is where using your time stop effectively is um, of, but of utmost importance. And also practicing graze. The first time I fought this, um, I didn't know that Graze could restore health. So, uh, mailing kind of kicked my butt a couple of times. Ah. And she's probably going to kick my butt again because I'm playing like an idiot. And then I ran right into her, because of course. Okay. The nice thing about this game is that it does keep track of the fact that I had the boss dialogue. So we're just gonna go right to the boss. Hard to get a good sense of um, how close you need to be to graze. She is down by a little over half her health now, which means that she's going to be starting to do something very soon. It's not something particularly pleasant. There we go. Ah, she's strong. And we'll have to use the last stand. And yeah. We can just completely sidestep that with time stop, of course.
But yeah, a lot of this game has to do with um, uh, with effectively using your time stop because you only have so much of it. There we go. Second try. Ah! You lose, Mailing. <sighs> How frustrating. Let me pass. It can't be helped. But Sakuya-san. What? I don't know if this will be any advice, but... I'm not your only enemy. So, um, please, be careful. I'll remember that. I'm not your only enemy. But that Mei Ling was the real Mei Ling. Lady Romilia really likes complicated games. <laughs> well, of course she does. She's the Scarlet Devil. Why is this maid going around Japan fighting ninja princesses? Um, well, ninjas are Japanese and Mei Ling is actually Chinese, so that's not exactly accurate. But um, this also isn't Japan, this is Gensokyo. As for why she's doing this, um, it's pretty much explained in the, um, in the start of the game that um, this is a false world that Romelia created because I guess she was bored. Romelia does things. For no really good reason. Okay. Maybe snail time will work better here. There we go. Oh, this puzzle. Okay, watch this. Okay. I'm not going to be able to do this right now. But um, the idea is that you stop time while that um, while this chandelier is falling, and it act as a platform. It's actually kind of neat. Um, oh, these guys. Yeah, these souls are a little different from the ones that um, we had to deal with in the first stage. They'll teleport away if you try to throw knives at them. And the only really effective way of doing it is by throwing knives up at them or freezing time. There's our warp gate. Yeah, and even even at that. Freezing time and throwing knives is not necessarily quite enough to um, destroy them. You can also get up really up up in their grill and throw a knife basically at point blank. So this room will introduce to us time paralysis. You see this red mist here? This doesn't cause any damage, but if you get touched by it, you can't use your clock or your snail time. Plus it drains all of your time, your, um, 
time up here. So, don't touch it. That's basically what this sign says. Why does this game have Mandragoras? Rude. I forgot that this room does that. And that's how you get out of that. If your reactions are fast enough, by the way. Oh good, there's a save point. That would have been too late anyway. But for our troubles, we get the double jump knife. We can now double jump, but not in water. You're too white to stay up in their grill. Is there anything there? I don't think there is. Ah, jumping right into enemies is not a good thing whether or not time is running. Fortunately, fortunately we've saved right here and we still have our double jump. Yeah, no, I need to watch my HP better. Come on. There you go. Um, we haven't gone down. Oh, but there's a thing that I want to get. Right. Thing over here. You guys are rude. <sighs> really? Hi there. 
But now that I have double jump, I should be able to get up there. And there's a thing behind that candelabra. It's, an, it's another eternal clock, so the amount of time that can be stopped has increased. You'll see our clock is able to max out now at 115. Jumping into enemies, yes. I've learned all of my lessons about platforming from Scarlet. Oh, dang it. I think that might be forward, actually. In fact, I get the feeling like I might have missed something. Oh. But this is just a completely different area altogether. In fact, I don't think we can go anywhere here. Yeah, I know. We need us the yellow key to do that. Oh. I apparently wasn't paying much attention to my health there. Well, that's on me. Fortunately, we didn't lose very much. Really? that too early anyway. For our time to uh, increase. No, that's too early. There we go. Oh, please. One thing to watch out for is once you do get the um, the sliding knife, and I guess this is kind of true with most games that have sliding, I often get stuck in um, the situation where I'm trying to jump but I'm ducking so I slide instead and just get myself in trouble. This place. Okay. Oh boy. This is this is going to be a thing. This, in my opinion, is probably one of the most difficult areas in the early access areas so far. Let's see if I've learned anything now. By the way, you see that uh, platform on the right there with the um, purple outline to it? Basically that means if I stop time, it keeps going. That can also apply to enemies, so keep that in mind. And it can also apply to um, environmental hazards. Oh, right. 
right, there is a thing there, isn't there? And I'm dead. I'm dead just in time to um, get my MP back. That's great. Yeah, since, uh, since that's happened, why don't we do that? I gotta say, I do kind of hate interrupting this music um, to time stop. All right, oh, are there weapons other than knives? Sorry, I missed that. Uh, no, uh, Sakuya's weapon is knives. There's just different ways to use knives. Yeah, there are a couple of things that I can get with a double jump now. Can't say that I remember where one of them is, but um, I know where the other one is. More or less. So just just so that we're sure that this is a Castlevania oh Castlevania based game, here are some Frankenstein's. They hurt, but they also can't get here. And their explosions don't hurt either. So so from that we get knife up. So we can throw even more knives when time has stopped. Get a bunch of grays out of these guys. Unfortunately, we're kind of out of MP again. There we go. Now... Hmm. I think the other thing is over here. Frankenstein. Yes. Um, is it here? No. Whoa! A little too up close and personal there. Okay. I think I know where it is. First, let's save, because it's right here.
I think it's over here anyway. Yeah, here it is. HP up. HP limit increased by 10. So with that, that should be pretty much everything from stage 1. Oh yes, that HP up is definitely worth the backtrack, especially the way I play. Um, actually, I want to see what's down there. I don't remember, honestly, because my memory sucks. Yes, yes, red mist. A face! Come on. There we go. You're gonna be a thing, aren't you? Yep, and now I'm maximum time paralyzed. Really, I should have checked this while I was here. Oh. Really? And that's why I should have checked this while I was here. Because that was dumb. Um, was this the right way? No, it's not. And I hit the red mist. Welcome to the Circus of Values. Not sure that I'm familiar with that reference. Um, 
Okay. So now we're back here. Whoa. Still don't have that, so I'm gonna need to get it, and I can't get to that platform. Now I need to do this room all over again. Isn't that great? I'll give you a hint, it's not. And I run out of time. Ah, Bioshock. Ah, I'm bad at this. I don't remember having such difficulty with this puzzle. There we go. I have an idea. I'm gonna go save. But I don't have to do that again. And I wasn't paying attention. There are no Mandragoras in baseball. Ah, just kill me. I'm going to need all the health I can get to get through the area that I'm trying to get through now. Come on. Oh, please. It. Oh, my goodness. Focus, Coolio. What are you doing? That is not how you graze. Okay, now this. This room filled with hatred and despair. Not Junko grade despair, mind you, but still despair. Glad this game has hover. Hunt for Mrs. Coolio. When there when there's something to report, I'll let you know. We got a chainsaw, by the way. <laughs> Which is just a silly weapon. Well I guess I guess. Well, I guess that answers your previous question, actually, uh, Scarlet. There are other weapons. 
I kind of forgot about the chainsaw. And it's kind of OP. Also, I f also, 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 I forgot that this is not progress. Hmm. As you can see, our double jump... Oh, wait. Yes, it is progress. However, our double jump is not high enough for this. And a very important thing to note... You see that light blue door up there? We can't open that yet. But, um... Lollipop Chainsaw, yes. Yeah, let's go with the chainsaw, sure. Hey you! The maid! Freeze or I'll shoot! <sighs> that voice! Hey Marissa. Looks like you're having fun. Let me join in! Before I let you join, can I ask why you're here? I came to borrow a book from the library, and I heard Romelia was busy playing, so I'm breaking in instead. Don't worry, Romelia gave me permission. <sighs> Lady Romelia. She has a big heart for letting a thief like you break in. How rude to call me a thief. I just borrow things... permanently. Taking something without permission is stealing. But good timing, I'll finish you off here. You're the one who's going down. It's gonna be game over. So yes, she throws um, time paralysis at us as one of her attacks. Also, I find, like, Mei Ling doesn't have a really solid pattern as to how she, uh, she does her attacks. But, um, Marissa and the next boss kinda do. I'm gonna go all out! Eat this! Master Spark! Using it using her spell card. But we're smarter than that. Oh. Getting up in close get getting up close and personal with Marissa here. The first time I fought Marissa, I uh, did use the time stop to get through that. But uh, as you can see, it's uh, possible to just go through with snail time. And we almost got this. Actually, she barely hit us. As soon as I say that, she charges right into me. Not this time. This wasn't supposed to be like this. You shouldn't be able to use your powers. Really? I don't remember saying anything like that. Damn it! 
Vermilia tricked me! That was too easy on you. You're pretty good for a maid. Precisely because I'm a maid, I take care of Master's enemies with all my might. I told you I got permission. Whatever, you lost, so please be a good girl and go home. I, I went easy on you, yet you treat me so coldly. It wouldn't hurt you to bring me a cup of tea or some or coffee. Unfortunately, I can't prepare such, such things in the fake world. <laughs> Fine. I'll take a look around this world before leaving. Goodbye. <sighs> this wish just does whatever she likes. But I wonder what she meant by being tricked. It kind of bugs me. Well, she probably thinks she was tricked due to the fact that she was told that um, Sakuya wasn't able to use her time stop when she in fact can. Of course, maybe Romilia, uh, maybe Romilia didn't know about this um, item thing, or maybe she did. I don't know. Who knows? They had nothing to. Well. Marissa Kirisame is a fictional character, Scarlet. I don't know if you know that. Anyway, we got the yellow key now. Is there anything secret here? No. Oh, hi Natori. What's up? Hello there. How have you been? Hey Tori, what's wrong? Oh, you know, just collecting some jewels. By the way, I brought something good for humans. Take it with gratitude. What is it? It's a shop ticket. With this you can summon me whenever you want. Even during a boss fight, you can sell jewels or buy items. If I do say so myself, it's a genius invention, don't you think? Uh, yes, you really are persistent. You don't look so annoyed. You must have collected a bunch of jewels by now, right? I think it'll be easier for you if you sell them to me and buy items. What I'm saying is, use me more! Okay, okay, I get it. I'll use you again. Of course, what she doesn't want us to know is that those jewels give us power-ups. Wrong button. Come on. We have fire. There we go. Are you gonna die? There we go. Hopefully, I can get through this hateful area without too much problem. I dare say that I'm, in general, better than I was before at this game. I'm still a little derpy at some points, but um, whoa, hi.
Well, got a little bit scuffed and scarred there, but um, I still managed to get through that on my first try, which is a lot better than I did the first time I played. So now I'm through that, and I don't have to go through that again for quite some time. I use auto aim to get through these bubble maids. Oh, geez, hi. These guys. Now this seems like a bit of a suspicious um, area. It really isn't. There isn't a boss immediately again here. There's our gate. And I think this is actually the way forward, so I'm going to backtrack just a little bit here. So that we can see what's over here. And yes, these guys, these little drummer boys, um, threw around time paralysis. That's pretty great. Actually, no, I think that's the way forward, because we can't get up there either. Yeah, the knockback is not great in this game. It's about on par with a lot of Castlevania games, though, so... So, green outline means that they move while time is stopped. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> can I make it through there? Yes, I can. Little Drummer Boy is the most depressing Christmas movie. I don't know if I've ever watched um, the Little Drummer Boy Christmas movie, honestly. We can't get up there either. They might be wondering if we're going to get like some sort of triple jump or something. The answer will become clear shortly because I'm pretty sure that we're heading toward the um, thing that will allow us to proceed.
like there might have been something there, but I don't think there is. Oh, this guy. There we go. We get this. We got a grip knife. Ride a knife while time is stopped. And this I really find to be kind of cool. Stop time, throw a knife, jump on the knife, and keep going. So at this point in my original run, I went back through the Corridor of Hate in Stage 2, not knowing that there was a um, light blue door there, and then had to go through all the way back because I had saved over there. That was kind of heinous. Also, in uh, in Metroid terms, um, screw attack does not allow you to actually um, jump higher. I think you're thinking of the space jump. Oh, I'm time paralyzed. Fantastic. Be enough for now. Oops. Is there anything up here? Oh, there we go. Another eternal clock. Get rid of this guy. Because he drops dark blue gems, and I don't remember what stat that uh, increases, but uh, dark blue gems are pretty rare. Alright, so we are going back. Kind of a ways here. Oh, yeah, that's. That's gonna work out here. There we go. Oh, jeez. Hey there, buddy. Don't do that. That's rude. Let's save. Yeah, you guys go over there. That's completely fine. I'm cool with that. And we're actually full on stats right now, so I don't actually need to use the, the vending machine. I got hit by the um, red mist there, but uh, not enough to have a huge effect. Oh, geez. I forgot about these guys. You can also kind of spoil the ones that are going to pop out at you by stopping time. Magic Boy Max. 
You can also just completely sidestep them and get graze points by stopping time. So Notori has been a little busy too. Hey, we meet again, human. Notori again. You're always working hard to collect jewels. I've been wondering for a while, but what do you plan on doing with all of those jewels? These jewels are crystallized MP. Hmm, excuse me. Possessing them will improve your powers. Huh? Wait a second, that's the first I've heard of that. Huh? What? R really? Maybe I forgot to tell you. Hmm. You can check what kind of power a jewel has on the shopping screen. I see. But if having the jewels improves my powers, isn't it better not to sell them? No, it's better to sell them and buy items. It only improves your powers a, a little. I think you just want to do business. No, you're wrong. Anyway, I'd appreciate if you sold me a lot of jewels, or lots of jewels. Yeah, sure, Nutari. That's entirely what we're going to do and what we've been doing through this entire game. And it's not. Whoa. Oh boy. That's not going well. Save. Actually, I'm entirely safe here. Raise for some HP. And what's over here? Ooh. You got a thousand daggers. Throw a thousand knives. Uses 40 MP. Well, let's give it a try. Yeah, it's, it's a little powerful. You might think something like that, and you might not be wrong. Now here we definitely don't want to use the time stop because we wouldn't be able to get through the water. Snail time it is. This one, however, is a little trickier. Stop time. Until the platform is kind of poking on the other side. Yeah, you gotta get kind of creative with this. As usual, we'll just stand in the doorway to destroy the Frankenstein monsters. I don't really know if Notori is final boss material. Like, even if she had a million gems, or jewels, or whatever. She's not the type to, um, be the final boss. I don't think she's the final boss of any of the Toho games. She definitely is a boss of some Toho games. At, at least a couple. And I believe that, yeah, we can't get through here. That I'm pretty sure is stage four, and um, also that looked a lot like it could be a clock tower. And we know that clock towers in um, Castlevania games are not particularly pleasant. All right. Hello. That's Akio's voice. What's wrong? A powerful witch is waiting beyond, just beyond this point. 
It might be difficult with your powers sealed, but don't give up. Don't worry, I can already handle my power of time. You may not be able to stop time, but you can slow it down. If you use it well, you can win. Listen to what I'm saying. I can already use my power to stop time. I wonder what's wrong. You don't need to thank me. This is all I can do. Huh? Oh, hello. Aku, why are you speaking so strangely? No particular reason. I was tired, so I was resting. Something is wrong. I wonder what happened. And here we see Patchouli at work. Sakuya, you took longer than I thought. As I thought, Miss Patchouli is here. How is it? Are you having fun? I guess. Miss Patchouli, did you create this world? It was Remy's usual, usual request. If it doesn't exist, let's make it. The red and white shrine maiden gets upset if we try anything in the Gensokyo, so we created a, a separate space. I guess since it's been so peaceful, Remy needed some excitement. If you would have said so from the start, I would have played along. It's no fun if we tell you. The element of surprise is what makes it exciting. That may be true, but... I have plans, too. Remy's selfishness always pops up suddenly. You're right. Anyway, we're here, so we might as well have some fun. I don't mind, but is your health okay? There's nothing to worry about. Today is a good day. I will show you a bit of my true magic powers. So for anyone who's not uh, particularly um, learned in Toho lore, if it kind of looks like um, Patchouli here is in her PJs, that's because she kind of is. Um, she's, um, she's been sick ever since she was a kid, and uh, so she really doesn't go outside very often. out of MP. I'm gonna let that recover for a little bit. And if you're wondering what that is, that is my um, streaming notification for Twitch. Someone I follow has started streaming. My guess is it's probably Behold My Strength. done. How about this? And now we have to deal with four books. Yeah, the green shots only move when uh, time is stopped, but I find it's better to just immediately stop time and deal with those rather than them becoming a nuisance in the middle of something else.
So here's where this gets interesting. I'm going to be using my time stop a lot more often here. Ow. We got this though. Oh geez. Okay, you generally want to be standing in the middle of that attack. It's a lot easier to dodge from the middle. Oh boy. And I got hit anyway. But we got this. There we go. <coughs> My asthma. When I least need it. Oh, actually, it's Cotton Clever streaming. Okay. I'm sorry. Without thinking, I went all out. <coughs> Don't apologize. It was fun. I'm surprised you could use your powers, though. We should have sealed them. Did you break the seal by force? This is thanks to a gadget-loving Kappa. Personally, I don't like depending on tools, but... Hmm? Remy left quite a useful character for you. No, that's not it. My intuition was right. I had a bad feeling, so I made it rain. But to use gadgets... She's pretty smart, too. Miss Patchouli? Oh, nothing. It's nothing. Anyway, you won, so you can move on. Will I be able to see Lady Amelia soon? Yes, she's waiting at the clock tower just past here. Since it's Remy we're talking about, I'm sure she's itching to play with you. After Miss Patchouli, I can't let Lady Amelia wait. Oh, Miss Patchouli, please go home and rest. Yes, I will s out. Ah. Yes, I will head back to Scarlet Devil Mansion first, the real one. As I thought, it was Miss Patchouli who created this world. Next is Lady Remilia, at last. I must hur hurry to Lady Remilia to escape this world as soon as possible. Well done, Sakuya. That's Lady Romilia's voice. I'm impressed that you beat Patchouli with your limited power. I'll go to wherever Lady Romilia waits and have her send me back to reality. Sorry, but it's still too early for that. No way! Yes, this is still just a demonstration. Again? And this is because the original, um... The original uh, early access version of this, as I've previously mentioned, only had the first stage, and this one has three. For now, you'll have to wait for the official version. Official version? Didn't you say that last time? It's complicated. Anyway, congratulations on clearing stage three. See you again. So um, yeah, that is the early access for um, for this game for Toho Luna Nights. And just sends it back to the tile screen without any chance to save, which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to uh, test the stream with. I'm probably going to be streaming it, uh, streaming again uh, soonish, maybe tomorrow, but no guarantees on that. 
Um, if I do stream, I'm probably going to be working on uh, low bias monthlies because I still have a lot of those to work through. Uh, let's go back to the um, cover screen here. Uh, looked and sounded good. I am glad to hear that. <laughs> I uh, I just kind of played with the settings a little bit and um, hope that it worked. I think the sound wasn't working originally, but um, with a little more tweaking, it ended up working. So, um, so yeah, that is going to be it for the local recording. So I'm going to stop that here. So I'm cool you if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.